It is cool. Off. Hi. Hi. So what are we doing? All right, so we're currently on the Pikes Peak Highway driving up to the top of Pikes Peak. Are you loving it so far? Yeah. Me too. Okay, say that again. Yes, we just stopped at mile marker number two to get out and there's like a, a spot where you have, uh, you can park and there's a really cool view of some things down low. Um, it's been, so we haven't been to the top of this mountain in, in like uh, like three years, right? Or since 2019. So they since have remodeled everything. So we're excited to see how they've rebuilt the things at the top. Yeah, so they they had a, a, a gift shop up there with like a little restaurant. You can get like the world famous Pikes Peak donuts and stuff. But evidently, all that has been uh, torn down and, and everything's new up there. So anyway, and we're gonna probably stop and do a little hike. The lady at the front gate said her favorite hike was the uh, this hike called the Devil's Playground. So I think we're maybe gonna gonna do a little hiking on the way back down. So should be fun. Yeah, we'll get back in the car here in a second. So, Lele, what are you looking at with those binoculars? Look those... at all the rocks. I want to look at the next one. The, the group of rock climbers that are about to ascend the rocks. Yeah. All right. Your brother's impatient. Let's get back to the truck. So, we're at the halfway point, right? So, we just stopped this little gift shop here, had a bathroom break. Now, we're going to finish the drive to the top. All right, so we are now above Timberline. Uh, last time I looked, we were at like about 12,000 feet. We're at 13. So we're at 13 something now, babe? Yeah. So Lele's looking at the map. The, the, the map that they gave us at the gate shows us all the checkpoints, um, which are marked along the highway. So, yeah. We're like, we're like uh, 11,800 feet, but... Um, uh. So at the last, yes, yeah, 13, 13. Is, is the next one? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So we just passed the number 12, which was 11 down something. And so then uh, check, check point number 13 is going to be at how, how, what's the elevation of 13, baby? Um, 11,800. I see. Okay. people skiing up there do you see them look right up in front of us guys get your binoculars out if you can't see them if you can't like maybe you can see them better with the binoculars do you see them oh my gosh yeah so on the way here we kept seeing lines in the snow that looked like either ski or snowboard lines and now I don't know if the video camera is gonna be able to see these guys let me try and stop and zoom in a little bit
You see him? Am I as zoomed in as I can? I, I can't zoom in any further. I think we can see him. Dude, that's radical. Huh? Uh, probably because you get deliveries up to the top. Man, that is absolutely crazy. There's three of them. You see all three of them? Ooh, that guy's going fast. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, that does look fun. That, yeah, he's on skis. Yeah, it looks like all three of these guys are ski skiers. I don't think they're on snowboards. <laughs> this is crazy. What's that, baby? Just past 15. We just passed 15,000 feet? No, that's impossible. No, we just passed the exit. Sorry. Okay, so baby, what? Okay. Where did we just pass? 15. My, so mile marker 15, which means what? What's the elevation? posted anyway look down there baby girl look see that animal down by that pipe you already saw that guy when we were driving what is that guy i wonder if he lives in that drain pipe there that's just a good hiding spot he is cute hi buddy Down there. So we spotted we spotted some more skiers down there. There's uh, one wearing an orange-ish jacket, and the other guy's wearing a black jacket. No, those are snowboarders. Are you sure? I think they're skiing. Yeah, they're skiing. They're definitely skiing. I don't know. It's hard to tell from here. They could, yeah. They're snowboarders. Could oh, be. Skiers. They're definitely skiing. Number eighteen is called Sheep Side. Called what? Sheep sign. So I've been up here a number of times for the kids. This is going to be their second time. They they came up in, in 2019 when we were here visiting back when we still lived in Iowa. We came out here for a little trip and we, we came up here. Um, I hiked it once a long time ago. I took the Cog Railway to the top once and I've driven up here now. I think this is like my fourth time. Um, but this is like the first time I've been up here when there's all this snow. Ton of snow up here. Um, anyway, so we are. Th there's a place called what? Cog Cut. I think that's the Cog Railway. Cog Cut. Cut. I thought you were saying cob, like corn on the cob, but you're saying cog. Yeah. Ah, yeah. So that probably has something to do with the Cog Railway. Um, but yeah, so there's a ton of snow up here. Um, although the windows are down in the, in the truck and it's not that cold. Um, and uh, we're excited to see the new remodeled you know, gift shop and everything they did to the top here. So we're almost there. Joshy's. How you doing back there, buddy? Good, you're, you're a little afraid of the heights. So yeah, if you've never driven up this this road, the Pikes Peak uh, Highway, you're like, 
there's portions of it where you're right on the edge of like a cliff and you're way high up here. So I can see how uh, it might be a little scary for those who are afraid of heights. <laughs>